Welcome to the first Vulture Cycles video blog. I've been wanting to make a blog for a while uh, with video because I think I can talk a lot faster than I can type. And so when I type out my blogs, I forget a lot of what I wanted to say. And I think that this will be a little quicker format to get the same amount of information across. Uh, I'm going to try to do them all differently uh, when I interview some people. Uh, talk about some of my favorite stuff, show people what I'm doing here in the shop, and uh, get some of my frame building and life philosophy out there. Anyway, uh, it's 7th of March, 2012. It's 40 degrees. It's about 1 o'clock, so I bet it won't get much warmer than that today. And uh, there's a little fresh dusting of snow this morning. Anyway, that's what's going on in Central Oregon. I just got back from the North American Handmade Bike Show in Sacramento, and uh, it was a hoot. I got to see a lot of old friends, and some of my old friends introduced me to new friends, and I got to meet some of the more famous people in frame building and bike industry in general. Um, that was really fun. Uh, biggest feeling I got from the show was uh, people are really hanging it out there, making very amazing looking bikes. Uh, it's a definitely, just to me, it's a one upsmanship sort of deal. And um, I know it's been going on like this for a while. It just really showed it to me this year, showed up to me this year that there were lots of bikes there that just really were never going to ride. Or if you wanted to ride them, I don't think you'd be too happy about it. And, and that's okay, it's great. Uh, it's really cool to see people really hanging it out with what they can do for fabrication. But at this point, I'm sort of tired of seeing that, and um, I, you know that's just me. I saw that show, and all I wanted to do was ride. <laughs> I saw these bikes, and it just made me feel more like I wanted to go for a ride on a pretty damn simple bike. Um, I've been known to hang it out over the years and build some weird stuff, a tall bike, a couple pure art bikes, but I've ridden every one of them, and. Uh, Yes, I made a tall bike that rides really well, although I did fall off of it and dislocate my shoulder. So, um, but I can do that on a bike that rides normal bike as well. I'm going to continue to push it with my bikes. Um, ride is number one. I'm definitely mostly interested in my process and how I build them. And uh, I don't. I used to think about what the fanciest thing I could take to a bike show would be, and I really just don't think that I'm interested in that at this point. Um, a couple people put it well. I really like what Soulcraft had to say about what they do with bikes. Um, I, I think that I can make bikes. Uh, I think that bikes could have a little more flair here and there and still ride just as well. Um, but I love what Sean does. Um, I think what Curtis does with RetroTech is a great example of that. And uh, some of my favorite stuff was obviously from people I know pretty well, my friends. Uh, the bikes that Rick brought were amazing as usual. And um, I really liked what uh, some of my friends from Portland are doing as well. Um, got to spend a little time next to Ira and Ben, and they made some pretty cool stuff, and a really cool trailer. and. Uh, yeah, it was, it was great to see, and, but 99% of what was awesome about was being there was being with my friends. Uh, luckily, I did go not as a sh not necessarily showing as Vulture Cycles this year. I went with Metro Feats. I went with Phil and Jamie, and it was just great to hang out with those guys. They met, introduced me to quite a few new people I'd never met before, some awesome cargo bike fanatics, and uh, what was really nice is we brought an excellent bike to the excellent bike to the show. Um, if you didn't know already, I help out Metro Feats. I work with them. I do a lot of the mitering, welding uh, of the main frames and various parts that go with them. There's, and uh, So it was great to hang out with those guys and I helped out in the booth and answered some technical kind of questions about it. Um, enough about the show. I made myself a little list so I would remember what to say. Um, that was pretty good. 
looked at some new high tech stuff from Shimano, and uh, for some of that stuff we had to sign a little agreement about not being, not talking about it. So I won't talk about that. Uh, what I did see, what everybody else in the world gets to see and not have to sign an agreement not to talk about. Um, just my ideas about what I see with the electronic shifting is I think that the Shimano engineers should take a look at what Apple's doing and make their product uh, look like it's from this century. I know it's kind of a harsh uh, criticism, but if you walk around, or when I was walking around at the bike show, I just saw everyone everywhere had an iPhone or something like that, a droid or whatever, whatever it is. Those things are the cutting edge of electronic stuff. And the bicycles that had electronic stuff on it looked like they were like, hey, we just invented the microwave. Um, so it didn't really, didn't really do anything for me. I think that that stuff is going to have to be wirelessly integrated, and it's going to have to be integrated with the phone. Now, I'm never, uh, never say never. I'm probably not going to build any bikes that have anything to do with any of that stuff. I, it's not interesting to me, and I don't think that my customers are probably going to ask for that. And I think that if somebody knows anything about me, and hopefully that's what this does, uh, you're not going to want to buy one of those bikes from me. You'll have to buy it from somebody else. Uh, not that I'm going to say I'll never do it, but it's going to have to really change before I'll be interested in it. So, uh, so word out there to people who have any influence in Shimano, look at iPhones and Androids and stuff like that and s figure out how you can integrate with those things. Your bike riding app is going to be critical and wireless, obviously. Their wires are, I mean, they're just, they just lack style. There's something wrong with, with that. Um, and uh, that's just something I was thinking about, so I thought I'd say it. Anyway, I hope that this is good. I'm going to try to post pictures on the blog with this as well and start up a YouTube channel. And we'll see if I can do this once a week or so. And you'll have to look at me. Luckily, I will have a lot of friends I can interview, talk to about different bike stuff, and uh, hopefully some video footage of rides will be included as well. So, thanks so much for checking out the very first Vulture Cycles blog that's done with a video camera rather than just me typing. Hope you can take my voice, and thanks. Bye. <laughs>